What is going on guys? Welcome to a pest control hunt. I wouldn't say pest control. I call these hunt damage control. Um, I'm at the farm. You guys seen a couple videos of me shooting in here. And you guys seen, you guys probably never seen me shooting here. But I shoot a lot of my videos up over there, like into that distance, because that's where the squirrels like to hide. And here, I just missed a pigeon. But you guys see those, this tree back there? I just shot a pigeon over there. And uh, I made the adjustment already. I think I might have to make another adjustment because it seems like I'm still shooting a little less. But I had hit the pigeon just a little less. He still went down, I have him in the car. So what I'm gonna do, this is what I do a lot. Um, this, this whole entire lot, all the way to the road, is basically being farmed by us. So I'm always out here shooting the squirrels, jackrabbits. During season, I shoot cottontails. There's a lot of cottontails here. And uh, right now, because of all the uh, new growth, the planting and all that, a lot of pigeons. They're, the pigeons and the squirrels are digging up everything that we're planting. So have some, some uncles on that corner over there. Their plant along the, the, uh, the plant along the olive trees is just destroyed. They, they're not even getting to plant because the rabbits are just killing it. That's my phone scope adapter connector to my gun so I could shoot those kill shots for you guys. But yeah, so um, they're just out here destroying everything. All my relatives are asking me to come help them out, so I'm here. I've been uh, here at least three times a week, just trying to get rid of all these squirrels. There's one right there. All these squirrels and pigeons ma mainly. There's a pigeon flying over here. Uh, let's see if he lands. It looks like he's gonna land. Hunting season is kind of over, I guess. Um, there's not really much to shoot or hunt right now. Not shooting. There's not much to hunt right now. So I'm just again, like I said, walking around the, the farm, um, shooting pigeons and squirrels, ground squirrels, and jackrabbits. Just trying to do a little damage control so that our plants will grow. And uh, these aren't just farms that we can have at home farms. These are um, farm to sell stuff. Like we sell our plants to companies, uh, warehouses, grocery stores, very windy. Oh, a lot of sand in my eyes. Pigeons are right there. You guys see that? This is what I mean by uh, they're eating it. We just, they just planted, my relatives and them, they just planted this field. You can see it's kind of new and the pigeons are already there working it. So what we're gonna do is attach you guys to the phone scope. Just like that, we're connected. And this is the real view how the phone scope works in case anybody is wondering and then this to me me to them right now is about 30 yards as soon as the camera will focus in on them there it goes Yeah, like I said, they're they're pretty quick at it. Well, I probably should have shot them. If you guys are wondering why I didn't shoot, it's because the wind was pretty bad, and uh, I was still getting my anchor point so that I could shoot. And then I actually never actually got it because I was too busy talking, so they ended up flying off. But as you can see, we're just watering the plants still. We're starting to, and. They had to redig this up already. This, this, this is the second time they're doing it because they're, you can see, this is what kind of what we mean by getting destroyed. You guys see these little holes here? These little holes? These are the, uh, the previous plants that we put in. But then the birds and the squirrels, they come and they just dig it all up and then it, it plans out basically. They'll just keep digging and digging. So, anything I can do to help out my relatives and my parents, of course, it's going to be beneficial. Again, 
these aren't just our regular everyday eat at home kind of thing uh all this stuff here it, it gets planted harvested and then uh put into the grocery stores warehouse companies comes and picks them up so yeah and then uh all of us here we are at least not not me but my, my parents and my uncles and them they're all um licensed farm like they, they have a business uh, a legitimate farming business anyways guys enough with my babbling uh hope you guys enjoyed this little damage control hunt and i'll see you guys throughout the rest of the video i was kind of waiting for nightfall but these guys are already out there's one jackrabbit there's another one over here somewhere There's one right there. There's another one anyways. I wasn't expecting them out this early, but hey, they're out. I wonder if I could creep my way up to this guy and take a shot. I actually couldn't get in close enough. So I went back to the car and go to my car because my uncle was back there. And then he was like laughing at me. And he was like, I already told him. Okay, he said this in Hmong. He was like, son, I already told you. The only way you're going to be able to creep up on them is if you bring your car, work at the corner, sit and wait for them to come out. Yeah, it's hot. You guys see how shiny I am? I was walking around and I was just spooking everything. Like, I was just making everything get scared left and right. So, I finally just says, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to sit in the car because it's freaking hot. So yeah, I took my uncle's advice, got in my car, I drove around to the corner where I was recording those those rabbits earlier, those three of them, and he says there's tons, so I'm going to just sit here. Yeah. There goes my uncle and then they're leaving. Yeah, we're just sitting in there. They just told me they just sit tight for a little bit and the squirrels will come out. I mean, the rabbits will come out. But yeah, I guess they're leaving. They're done for the day. Yeah, it's six. Oh, it's six o'clock. What the heck? No, it's not six o'clock. It's five o'clock. So I'm going to sit in the car. Like they said, they were just parked right behind me. And the rabbits were just messing around. So I'll sit tight for a little bit. You guys see their dog over there? He's probably barking at uh, rabbits because he keeps charging into the olive trees. Oh, I see a rabbit. Sweet. You guys see this squirrel? I was about to shoot him. Good thing I didn't because the rabbit came out over here. All right, let me. So long the squirrels left. Typical, right? Anyways, so this side I've seen three cottontails come out and uh, they're just literally walking them. They're literally just like not running, but they're walking across the road. And I know that looks like it's pavement, but it's not, it's just dirt. Just great dirt. Yeah, as you guys can see, the wildlife out here is not limited to just rabbits and squirrels got quails out here a lot of them uh, funny thing is i don't actually hunt them don't know why during hunting season i go somewhere else to go hunt them <laughs> but i can just come here and hunt them if i wanted to just choose not to i don't know why it's one of those weird odd things all right so here we go there's a jackrabbit right there uh, that's roughly 65. I'm actually set at 65 right now. 60, so let's see if we get this guy. Oh, just low. Let's see if we go up a little bit. Okay, here we go. Made the dial. Adjustment. This is... I believe this is 83 yards.
dead. Got a little cotton tail right here. He gets to survive another day because it's not cotton tail season and I don't know if I can actually shoot them off season even if it's to protect the crops without a depredation permit. So yeah, he gets hang tight just looking for jacks and ground squirrels and pigeons. So just hang tight there. I probably scare him off just so he doesn't come out and eat the stuff. So, yeah. You lucky little dude. Just another month and you'll be on the target list too. This guy's probably like 45. Oh, it's a hit. He didn't die right away, so I probably hit it left. yard veggies but that got the jackrabbit so he's on the target list and once again he is at 74 so let's put it back to 74 this time let's not make the mistake of thinking he's 65 this is the exact spot that first one came out so now I have it at 75 oh the wind Okay. Uh, so like I said, guys, the wind's pushing my bullet to the right. Oh man, he's like at 90 now. You got a shot? Sure. Is that 90? No, that's, yeah, that's at 85. Let's try this shot. There's another cotton tail. Oh, just to the right again. All right. I'm out of bullets in my clips, so I gotta load up. So yeah, he's still at 85. <laughs> little cotton tail. And then there's a little cotton tail right here somewhere in my like, uncle's yards. Or not yard, my uncle's farm. So let me load up and then I'll see if this guy hangs around for me to put him down. Look at that. Another one. Two young jackrabbits coming out. This guy right here is at 74. Oh, that's actually the exact spot I think. No, it's not. And yeah, that's 70, 74 again, where that first one, the shot came out. So, at least they're all coming out. Now, let me just load up and let's put them down again. Hopefully, they all hang out. Jack, one cottontail right there. Well, he just went in there. Oh, he's right there. Another Jack. So let's take the close one first. This guy's 
I'm just gonna double check, but I'm pretty sure he's 74 yards away again. The wind's dead right now, or almost dead. That looked like a hit. All the rabbits are hanging tight. Yep, oh, that's definitely another hit. That was two hits. His buddy wants nothing to do with it. Oh, he's gone. He went over here. He went way back there. And it got his little cotton tail. They're really starting to come out now. The wind picked up again, if you guys could hear it. There he goes. Another one at fifty. Let's see if I can get him. Oh, right over his head. Or right next to his head. Another one down. Check this out guys, the hawk saw that rabbit get shot. He flew from over here to right here and I have a feeling he's gonna pick up the rabbit. The rabbit's right there. Oh, let's go, cam's moving. Okay, these guys are out. Here's another 80 yard shot. Hi guys, so I basically spent the whole day at the farm. But I'm running low on air now. Let me see, I am at about 900 pounds. Or 900 psi and this thing shoots it only shoots consistent up to 1100 once i hit 1100 i start losing poundage like the the shots they start falling off and um in case you guys are wondering what kind of bullets i'm using i'm shooting these guys uh, oh so i'm shooting these slugs sorry i'm still looking around making sure in case rabbits come out but yeah, I'm shooting these, um, let's see if I get the camera to zoom in on them. I'm shooting these slugs, um, 
Come on, buddy. Uh, okay, let me show you guys. Yeah, I'm shooting these guys. Um, and uh, I'm pretty sure they work just as well as all the other slug bullets. It's got that uh, concave back, hollow point, of course. And these are 25 grain bullets. Um, and as you can see, I am actually running low. I had 500, but right now this is all I have left. I would guess this is not even 100 rounds left. So time to order some more. I'll see you guys on the next uh, little outing, whatever that it may be, fishing, hunting, shooting, pest control, siding in, whatever it is. I'll see you guys then. So peace out. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, once again, as I've already said, see you guys on the next hunt.